Okay, people, let's do it. It's Keith Thurman, Keith One Time Thurman versus Leonard Bundu. Post fight thoughts. Now, I know I haven't got a lot of predictions right of recent times, but in my pre fight prediction for Bundu versus Thurman, there were a lot of things I mentioned, and a few of the things I mentioned was that. Keith could not afford to have his back touch ropes against Bundu. Based on the form of Leonard Bundu, his best chance was to get Thurman against the ropes and land body shots. Um, and there were moments where he tried to do that, but Keith's movement allowed him to record, I would say, an excellent victory. Now, Keith one-time Thurman... In this fight could have been referred to as Keith Runtime Thurman by some of the crowd, which I felt was pretty unfair because Keith Thurman got the win. He knocked Bundu down in the first round by a beautiful switch of, of, of hands from using the big right hand, which we know, to turn in southpaw and, and dropping um, Bundu coming in, which was excellent shot. Now Bundu got up. I kept talking about Bundu's age, being an experienced fighter. He got up, shook himself down, and kept coming. Now, there's a reason why this man was unbeaten. And the reason why he beat Frankie Gavin, dropped Frankie Gavin, stopped Lee Purdy, and has been European champion for as long as he has, is because the guy's damn good. And people say, well, we haven't heard of Bundu, so he's not good. No, because you haven't heard of him, you're not appreciating the man's skill level. It takes a certain amount of skill to be able to not only absorb a punch, but be able to get out of the way of punches and to still deliver your own. Now, Keith Thurman, we know, is a big puncher. I did ask the question in my uh, pre-fight uh, or preview to this one. How big a puncher was Keith Thurman? He had the power to drop Bundu, but didn't have the power to finish him off. That's because of Bundu's stamina, strength, fitness and durability. Now, we never know how good an unbeaten fighter is until they're beaten. Now, if somebody can turn around and tell me now Bundu was a bum, then they know nothing about boxing. Bundu was a credible opponent. Um, and the fact that Keith Thurman had to keep moving in the fight... He was moving from left to right, back and forth, lateral movement, using his feet. Now, I don't know what boxing fans are expecting. I'm not even, yeah, because if you're in a ring with a guy that may have a bit of pop on him, may have a bit more pop on him, and is making you fight a different fight. Keith showed he could box from orthodox to southpaw. He showed you the lateral movement. He showed you could change gears in a fight. What more do you want? If Keith had gone out there now like a reckless banger, and got out there and had a tear up and got knocked out, what would you be telling us now? You'd be saying, oh, Keith Thurman, he's a hype man. He's a hype man. And, 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 and because he's a hype man, he got knocked out. So you'd have called him a dumb puncher. So instead, the guy decides to box, and you boo him out. You boo the man out. For what? You see, Keith has done what he's had to do to try and... You know, he's got an explosive style. But because he's outgoing and say, you know what, it's knockouts for life and it's one time, baby, and if I hit you, you're going to go. He ain't going to knock everybody out. There's going to be somebody who's going to put up some resistance. And Javik showed us in uh, in the previous fight with Keith that, you know, when you can't, when you, when you, when you, when you, when another opponent can absorb your power, then what do you do? There are some fighters, there's a lot of fighters in the world. That once you can take their power, then what do they have to offer? And they don't have much to offer, so they have to get you out of there. And if they don't get you out of there, they end up running out of steam, running out of ideas, and getting knocked out of themselves. So up to this point, Keith Thurman has showed that he can adapt and change his style. Um, there were moments, once again, watching Keith Thurman, the, um, some of the punches he throws... Uh, I mean, there's one punch he threw. It was like an overhand right. He looked like a fast bowler. Uh, you know, he brought the hand over here. He brought all the I was thinking, I went, jeez. 
I mean, if that had caught Bondu, yes, but I can see how he probably gets injured and how his, injury got, his shoulder got injured. Because them shoulders, I always feel at times when Keith's fighting, sometimes the punches are coming from wide, very wide. And 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 I'm always concerned that somebody is going to be able to punch with Keith down the pipe as he's coming walk around the corner. That That's always my concern. Bondu did clip Keith a few times in a fight. Which happens when you're boxing. So, you know, oh, we got caught. So he got caught. Um, good thing is he took it and, and he got on what he had to, he had to do. Um, so I think Bundu, what we need to do now is assess how good Bundu is. It's interesting because Diego Chavez, um, after Keith fought him, before Keith fought him, it was, a, it was a bum. But then when he went and fought Brandon Rios, it was a decent fight. And then he went and fought Timothy Bradley. So he can't be that much of a bum. You know, and this same bum gave, if you look at Bradley's face afterwards, in comparison to when Keith fought him, and Keith boxed in a manner that he didn't want to get hit by his. And if you look at the Chavez fight, you can see why. And then you look at Bundu, and you look at Bundu's previous fights, you can see why that's happened. So, all in all, he stuck to a game plan, even though the crowd were booing. Because at the end of the day, if he gets knocked out, the crowd ain't going to help him. So I don't, I don't look at that as a bad thing. I think today, today's crowd in boxing are very dismissive of a fighter that's taking tests and passing tests. And I think that when a fighter has a fight like this, and he passes a different type of style and is able to adapt, that bodes well for the future. So, an unbeaten fighter who has already beaten an Olymp uh, somebody who fought well, um, uh, uh, un another unbeaten fighter, which is Frankie Gavin, you know, so there are big things talked about Frankie Gavin in the UK, and then beating, uh, knocking out Purdy. Um, so, and Bundu had a good engine. We all knew Bundu had a good engine early and late in a fight. So for a 40 year old man, this guy's dangerous and Keith didn't knock him out so we know he takes a good shot. Now are there other fighters in the welterweight division that would be prepared to stand and have a fight with Bundu and not do what Keith did? We will know how good Bundu is in his next fight if he's back in the US and he's fighting against a top name opponent. Very interesting. I'd like to see, interestingly enough, if Khan and Alexander can't be made, um, Khan and Alexander, if Khan and Brooke cannot be made, I'd like to see if Brooke would be interested in making his first defence against Bundu. That'd be interesting. Um, as, as I'd rather see him defend against Bundu than defend against Marquez. Uh, that'd be an interesting fight. And to see whether Cal Brooke can knock Bundu out. I think that'd be a very interesting fight. Um, the future. Let's talk about uh, Thurman versus um, Maidana. The Maidana will come at Thurman and will throw big punches. My Again, my concern about Thurman, like I said before, these wide punches he throws, but I think his hand speed is... It, it will, may end up being a bit too fast for Maidana. This will be a good fight. But what would it prove if Keith fights Maidana and there's no title on the line? That's the thing. If Mayweather doesn't vacate, why is he fighting Maidana? I, I, I don't get it. Why are you fighting Maidana? Yes, it's an exciting fight, but there's no belts on the line. He's the WBA interim champion. So why are you fighting Maidana? Maidana didn't want to fight him when he was making... He, he was, I think it was his HBO debut, I believe. And Maidana didn't want to fight him then. So why are you going back and fighting Maidana now? For what? A guy Floyd Mayweather sort of beat twice what for you know um an Amir Khan fight I could understand an Amir Khan fight a Kell Brook fight I can understand a Kell Brook fight a Kell Brook fight more because there's a world title there you know so that would be a fight I'd be pushing more for um even Timothy Bradley there you've got a fight the fight a good fighter there fight Timothy Bradley but I'm not in this Marcus Maidana thing you know because I don't know I'm not so hot on Marcos Maidana. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, well, Marcos Maidana can bang. But you've seen that Keith Thurman can move. So, 
like I said, let's not be too quick to dismiss an unbeaten fighter. We never know how good an unbeaten fighter is until they're beaten. Um, and I think Keith's going to go back to, you know, back to the gym. They'll study the fight. I think they'll uh, ignore the booze and focus on the next fight. You know you now you've got a guy who can punch, you can box. And some people say, hey, he didn't look good in that fight. He didn't look good in that fight. But you know what? Whoever beats Keith Thurman, whoever beats Keith Thurman is going to be a fighter that would have put it on the line. Um, he's a student of the game, and I don't think we appreciate students in the game anymore. I think boxers got to a point where a lot of people just want to appreciate uh, guys that are just going head first, use their chin as a de defense, and have a brawl. Sometimes that you sometimes in a fight. You can't box smart because you're under so, much, under so much pressure. You've got to fight. That's different. But, you know, he's a young man. And you want to be around for a long time. So, I don't, um, I'm quite glad to see Keith um, fight the fight that he did. Um, wasn't really surprised because of the, 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 the what we didn't know of Bundu. And, uh, yeah. I'm, as I said, I'm not excited about a Maidana, Maidana fight, to be honest. I'd rather be more interested in, in, in Brooke Thurman or Thurman Bradley or, um, you know, those would be good fights to see. Um, and Thurman Provodkov, forget it, because Provodkov are coming straight lines, of course, and Thurman will move around the ring. Um, the only other thing about Keith Thurman still is having that chin in the air. I'm just still... Sometimes I'm watching him fight and I'm just holding the seat thinking, don't get clipped, don't get clipped, don't get clipped, don't get clipped. You know, just don't get clipped. Just do what you do, don't get clipped. But, you know, I'm sure he'll take whatever comes. But there you go. So that's my thoughts on the Keith Thurman fight. What were you thinking as a fan? Oh, finally, before before I do this, I've got to say this. There was a lot of people wanted. there were a lot of people I read on timelines that wanted to say Keith Thurman get beat. Why? Why do you want to see him get beat? I don't get it. I don't understand. Why do you want to get? Why do you want him to get beat for? You know, oh, I don't like that keeper. Why do I don't like that guy? What's he done to you? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't like that guy. I don't like. He talks too much. Like, what? Do you understand the business of boxing? Those people that don't talk don't seem to get fed. And those people that do talk seem to get fed. It's about promotion. You got to speak up in boxing, especially at that level. You got to speak up. So how else are you going to sell your tickets? Okay, so he went out there to try and knock a man out. He didn't knock a man out. So what? He, he, that's one fight. I tell you, if Maidana comes, he's more, he more likely to get knocked out because he's got no defense. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I'm sure that there'll be people out there still hating and will say, you know what? Uh, he, he didn't do well. And um, get ready for Mayweather, and he should. He's not. He's not the real McCoy, and all the rest of it. So, I guess even if he beat Maidana, he will say, "Well, Floyd beat him twice anyway." So you know, at least when he fought Bundu, nobody's beaten Bundu. He fought Diego Chavez, nobody beaten Diego Chavez. If he fights Kell Brook, nobody's beaten Kell Brook. If he fights Floyd Mayweather, nobody's beaten Floyd Mayweather. So those are the, those are the fights there. If you knock Carl out, obviously been knocked out before. So what? If you beat Tim Bradley, well, Tim Bradley's been beaten before. So Manny Pacquiao beaten twice. So I don't know. All right, I'm out. Thanks for watching.